How would you like to paint a nut hatch in watercolour? Well, let me show you some little clips from my main video on how I painted the feet. Let's get started. Right, so here we go. So the first thing I want to do is think about the colour on the legs. So I'm going to work on lemon yellow burnt sienna. That's kind of a nice, rich colour. But I'm also thinking about the consistency of this as well. So I'm thinking about probably like a milky consistency. The first thing I like to do is wet the area I'm going to paint first. I do that a lot actually with a lot of um, a lot of the paintings I work on. At least that way you tend to kind of work on a kind of wet and wet technique as you go through this. The brush size I'm using is a double zero, so very tiny. I know some people even go smaller than that. I know, but I tend to like the synthetic feel to this kind of brush. It's, uh, this is the um, the Winsor Newton, the Cotman range, which is a series 111. Pretty good. So I'm going to make this colour a little bit stronger by adding a little bit more kind of um, burnt sienna in there. So back to the painting, everything is uh, still a little bit damp on there. I'm going to add in that, that richer tone, just kind of get start thinking about the form and the shape of the leg. I'm really looking closely at the photograph at this stage as well. Um, the good thing about having a really good photograph, if you get a very large photo, that then gives you the opportunity to kind of zoom into that photo a little bit more. Especially if you've got it on a tablet or a mobile phone or anything like that. So you can really kind of pinch in and look at those finer details as long as it's a very large photo, of course. So picking out the fine details, looking at the shapes and the curves within the feet. Bird feet are quite amazing really because there's a lot of segments and sections within there. So you've really got to look very closely to find out what you can see. And I always say to my students as well, the more that you look, the more you will see. So I'm gradually getting darker as I go along. I want to make sure that looking at the dark side of the leg as well. So you imagine with this particular um, shape, I've got the light is coming from above. So the dark is going to be on the underside most of the time. I know because I've got a little bit of dark on the top of the leg on both sides of the leg, but that's because there's a shadow from the nuthatch bird on the top part of that leg. So you have to bear these things in mind as well. So now I'm getting even darker, thinking about the darker colours as well. Now one of the colours that people tend not to use, which I prefer to use, is black. It's one of those colours that people tend to, oh, I don't know, you know, a bit dodgy, do we use it or not? But I like to kind of add a colour to it to kind of enrich it that little bit. Now, here we go, as you can see I'm now using watercolour white. This is another one, I know, there's another colour which people think, well, reserve the white to the paper, use a little bit of latex, or, you know, kind of masking fluid, um, or drawing gum, some people also call it. But in my case, I like to use watercolour white. Now, watercolour whites tend to vary in consistency, they also vary, believe it or not, in transparency. So you can get semi-transparent, semi-opaque, you can get opaque whites. So have a look at the manufacturers um, from the different versions of watercolour whites which are on the market. I prefer, obviously, the more opaque feel to it. I tend to add the white to the lightest areas within the feet and on the, obviously on the claws as well. And at least that way, you tend to think about where that light is going to hit. Never add too much. Too much white can completely kill all the colour underneath. So there you go, that's how I painted the feet of the Nuttach. Now if you fancy having a go at this and working on a complete video tutorial, I'll guide you through step by step, showing you a variety of techniques on how to do that. I'll also give you the outline drawing, the PDF guide and the photograph to work from as well. To find out more, just simply click on the links below. And remember to click on like, subscribe and share, and of course you can always comment down below as well.
So I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.